New at 6, workers are back on the job as the investigation continues into what caused a big section of a parking deck to collapse outside Horseshoe Casino, Cleveland. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Leon Bibb. Investigators today are still trying to figure out the full extent of the damage. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us now. John, what did the investigators find? Well, Leon, it will likely be some time before we know the full extent. The answer to that question, OSHA and the city right now leading up this investigation and the matter for the most part being left in their hands. Workers back on the job today at the side of the new Horseshoe Casino Garage and Welcome Center. This just 72 hours after a 60 by 60 foot freshly poured section of the second floor parking deck collapsed Friday. The city and OSHA giving the okay for work to resume on areas of the project not impacted by the collapse like what will be the valet drop-off area on the south side of the site. Casino officials say the accident won't impact the March opening of the casino itself, but at this point can say little else. We're continuing to investigate. Um, the main thing is that we're very happy that no one got hurt, um, and that's all I can say about the garage right now. OSHA was on site heading up the investigation. Touring the area of the collapse today was Jeff Cohen, a rock gaming principal in charge of construction of the $350 million casino project. The group spent about a half hour inside near the collapsed portion of the project before meeting for about 45 minutes to figure out what's next. Where do you go from here? We just got to wait for OSHA to complete their investigation. As soon as they're complete, they'll tell us where we go. Obviously, you got to be happy to work and continue in other areas. I'm just happy that nobody got hurt. That really is the underlying theme, the realization that no one was hurt last Friday. As we mentioned in the past, March 26th is when the casino uh, is set to open. We've been telling you over the past couple of weeks about the hiring that they've been doing, but the casino also beginning to have an impact in other ways in the community. Well, much more on that coming up tonight at 11. Reporting live in downtown Cleveland, John Kosick, News Channel 5. John, before you get away, get away, let me ask you this. They're talking about the casino generating 5 million visits a year. Is there a concern now over the parking situation? The Casino Leon currently owns the Gateway North Garage. That's just under 1,000 spots. The five-deck uh, parking garage that was going to be built behind me is going to be about 340 spots, so not as significant as an impact, but nevertheless, one they want to move on uh, as soon as this investigation is complete, and they want to get this thing built. Many thanks, John Kosick, handling the story for us tonight.